What's up guys and welcome back to Power Metal Gamer. Today we're going to continue on what we left off with the other day and that is pickups. I picked up so much shit that I'm going to do a two part video. It, it's it, I, There's no way around it man, it's just there's so much shit accumulated in the last couple of months. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this shit. If you haven't seen the last video, go fucking look at it. I got this off Trev, we're going to start with Wii games. I got a lot of shit, a lot of Wii games. First one off this pile is a sealed copy of Mario and Sonic at the Winter Games. Ooh, I think Trev gave me this. Gave me this a while back. He gave me two copies of it some, for some reason, and I get the other copy away. So a sports title with Mario and Sonic, and and I got Call of Duty Three in a charity shop for like a euro on the Wii. I like the old Call of Duty games back when it was like World War Two and stuff like that. It's fun. Then I picked up a couple of games the other day in the charity shop, and I got them for really, really goddamn cheap. I got Star Wars, The Clone Wars, I doubt I'll even play it, but sure, fuck it, it's, a, it's another Star Wars game for the Wii. I don't know, I haven't played it yet, so it's probably just some sort of lightsaber duel fighting game based off the Clone Wars TV show. Next one is Indiana Jones Lego. I, I'm telling you, I don't really like Lego games. I think this was one like one of the first uh, Lego games out, I believe, after the Star Wars games was the Lego. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I picked it up. It was like two year old, so. <laughs> Next one is Metroid Other M. Uh, I got this for free actually. Uh, a friend of mine picked it up in a charity shop in the country. Thanks for that, Kaylee Ann. You're awesome. Metroid Other M is one I haven't played before. I heard it wasn't that good, but hey, it's a Metroid game. Look at Samus there. So, the other day I strolled into this charity shop where I got uh, Indiana Jones or whatever, and I, I, I already have these games in my collection, so I said, fuck it, I'll pick them up, up again, maybe Trev or maybe someone else needs them. So I picked up Super Smash Bros. Brawl, a uh, franchise already claimed a copy of this the other day, so sorry about that Trev, uh, I think you already have it anyway, so um, apologies again. And I got a copy of Super Mario Galaxy, which I already have. It's one of my favorite Mario games, and it's awesome. So now I have two copies of that there. So, anyways, I got another copy of Mario Kart Wii. Everybody has a copy of this. And I got another copy of Wii Sports, which Franchise is also commandeered. I got a good deal there. But we're going to move on to PSP games. Oh no, actually, first off the list is a Nintendo DS game, which is Dragon Quest VI. I got Dragon Quest IX, and I got Dragon Quest VII on the 3DS because Johnny Millennium's review, and I said, okay, I have to go buy it because it, it looks awesome. And I played a bit of it. I'm still actually trying to get through Realms of Reverie, which is number six there. I'm near the end of it now. So, Kellyanne picked up these two for me as well. She got me Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops on the PSP, which is supposedly very good. Yeah, it's set before, or is it set after Snake Eater, it's something like that. And I never played it before, so thank you for that. And Kaylian got a copy of Tekken Dark Resurrection. It's a really good game. It's the it's Tekken 5 with extra characters like Dragon Off and a character called Lily. You know what Tekken is, it's a fighting game and it's awesome. And the set, part 7 is coming out soon. Whoa! That's gonna be good. I can't wait to kick everyone's ass. Now, what else did we get? Oh yeah, the same charity shop a couple of weeks ago. I picked up uh, Call of Duty Roads to Victory. As I said, I like all the old Call of Duty games because of uh, World War Two and World War One and shit like that. Uh, I picked up Fight Night Round Three on the PSP. Um, I like the old boxing games. Um, I love Fight Night Champion. And they haven't released a boxing game since, what, 2011? Point No Champion came out. God damn, fucking release a boxing game. We don't want the UFC ones. Okay, they're good, but they're, come on, they're not, not as fun as boxing ones. Boxing ones are awesome. And we got Brothers in Arms D-Day, and I'm missing the booklet off of it. Ooh, no. I like uh, war games, and I like the Brothers in Arms series. I've never played this one, and I uh, actually don't really put my PSP on these days. But I, I will try it out. Uh, Simpsons game, it's based off the Simpsons movie, isn't it? I'm not sure, it's probably just uh, a Simpsons game based off the TV, sorry. It, oh, there is a Simpsons game called Simpsons the Movie the Game, I think it's called. But uh, I think this is just a standalone story of its own. 
I got the Sega Mega Drive Collection thing, and there's 27 Sega Mega Drive games in this. There's Sonic the Hedgehog, Fantasy Star, 1, 2, 3, and 4, Echo the Dolphin, Alex Kidd, Bonanza Brothers, Kid Chameleon, Flicky, Game Ground, Super Thunderblade, Sword of Vermilion, Vector Man 1 and 2, and many more. Oh, Comic Zone's also on here, it's a great game. Virtual Fighter 2, Altered Beast, Golden Axe, Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be on this. Roy Star and Colliums. Love the music in Colliums, actually. Really cool. And I said I liked the boxing game, so I got Rocky Balboa, the game. I thought it was a UMD at, at first when I picked it up, and I was like, that's not a UMD, that looks like graphics. So I, I want to try this out, I want to see what it's like. And that is all the PSP games. There's a fuckload of PS2 games over here. <laughs> and Xbox games and all sorts of stuff. So I'll go through these ones quickly because. I think these were all spares that Trev had in his collection and gave them to me. Um, I got these myself. I got them down in uh, uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, which is basically Ninja Gaiden, the original one for the Xbox, but it has uh, a lot of extra shit in it. It's a really, really hard game, and it's it's really good as well, but yeah, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Next one is Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer. Uh, I picked this up, I had it years ago and I got it again, so I was like, yes! Let me tell you a really funny story with this. An ex of mine years ago, we, me, her, my cousin and another friend of ours were playing 4 player and she couldn't keep up with us on the screen and my cousin was like, that's why you don't let women play games. And you know the, the Duke controller, the old big fat controllers for the original Xbox? She grabs it by the wire and my cousin, unsuspecting, gets a smack of it on the head. I thought he was going to die. God damn, I wouldn't like to get hit with a Duke controller. One that Kaylee M picked up in the charity shop as well and gave it to me free, which is Mario Party 4. Ooh, and this is actually a really pricey game, and it's kind of weird that you come across something like this in a charity shop. And uh, I'm really happy with that. Ooh, I'm going to be playing this with the boys when they come over. I used to love the ones on the Nintendo 64, they were really good games. And Watching Kruokon Keith's channel, he's a singer of the band, he, he does his own gaming channel now, he, I think he's trying to outdo Metal Jesus Rocks. <laughs> Someday he will have more subscribers, I, I can guarantee that, he's a very interesting dude, and he's from Ireland. So, he made me go out and pick up the Buzz games, the music quiz and the sports quiz, I got them in. The, I got them for like a euro or two euro each, and I love the music quiz, me and my cousin were playing and we were like, don't play any new songs, go for all the old stuff, like so all 70s, 80s, 90s and stuff. But it's, it's really good if, if you have a taste for music and uh, you, you like all that kind of stuff, and trivia. Uh, definitely try out the Buzz games, they're fun. I haven't tried the sports one yet, but I'm going to try and track down the rest of the games because they, they are a lot of fun. Good for your mind, bitch. And I picked up a copy of Manhunt because... The one I have there scratched the bits and it freezes after so long. Uh, Manhunt is a game where you play as a dude and he gets strong, he has to fight for his life and uh, there's all these crazy dudes in the street and you can smother people with bags and uh, you can stab them with fucking shards of glass. Uh, it's really really violent and I'm pretty sure it got banned in some places when it released. Uh, Manhunt 2 I had for the PSP and I gave it away to a friend years ago. That's my PSP broke. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, Hitman Contracts. I picked that up because I didn't know I had it. I already have it over there, so that's another spare. Loads of spares floating around there. And I absolutely don't know where this came from. I did a funny video on um, Facebook a while ago, and it is Hello Kitty Roller Rescue. I don't know where it came from. It probably came in a pile of shit that Trev had spare. It's not. <laughs> I'll talk about it another day. Uh, keep that keep that on the side, yeah? Uh, another spare that I already have is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I think this is like the fifth or sixth copy I came across in the last couple of weeks. It's everywhere. You, ca you can't escape it. It's all over the place. And then another game I already have, which Trev gave me in a, a pile of shit. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline, which is a really, really good war game. Uh, you start off in Normandy and D-Day landings and has that kind of Saving Private Ryan Field with great movie, great game. Would recommend it. I wish they HD that up with uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. They were good games. And this is a game I don't have actually, but I like Goldeneye. Rogue Agent. I heard, I heard it was quite bad, but sure. I gotta try it out and make my own opinion of it. 
Oh, uh, I want to try it out. I'll try it out. And this is one I already own, but it's the platinum version of it. And it's Star Wars Battlefront. And it has the booklet, and it has the horrible silver disc, and a silver case. I don't like the platinum. And he gave me another platinum, which is Jack Tree. I don't have the black label version of this, so... Eh, this is the one I gotta stick with. I gotta buy the Jack and Daxter trilogy. Actually, it has the book and the disc in it, and it's in good condition. Now, I don't know why this is in the pile, because Trev lent it to me. It's a red card soccer. It's a football game by the makers of Mortal Kombat, eh, where you can kick the shit out of people. I did a video on this before. And it's really good. <laughs> it's, I'm not into sports games, but fuck me, this is fun. You can drop kick people, you can clothesline people, you can set the football on fire, you can kick people through nets. It's good, it's good. I don't know why it's in this pile here, because Trev only lent it to me. It's mine now. Mine now, bitch! You're not getting it back. <laughs> now, I had this game on the GameCube, and I gave it away to a friend recently, because I wanted to get the whole collection on the PS2, which was... Blue Loma 2 was my least favourite in the series because it, it just felt like a downgrade from Soul Reaver 2. But I really liked the first Blue Loma and I like uh, Soul Reaver 1 and 2. I like Legacy of Kane Defiance, but Blue Loma 2, it was kind of clunky. It was. It just felt uh, like. I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really shit. But now I have it on the PS2. Thanks, Trev. And he gave me Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Ooh! I think I have this already. Another spare. I'll put them all in a pile and you give me another Harry Potter game, The Prisoner of Azkaban. And it has no booklet. But yeah, another game in the pile. I think I already have this. Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's a car game. Uh to put that in the pile. I already have it. Oh, this is a really cool one as well. Remember the Shinobi games and stuff like that? They kind of spawned off a little small side game which was called Nightshade. And it's really cool, it's over the top ninja action, slashing and stuff, it's really good. If you if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Uh, who gave me this? Trev gave me this as well. So, cheers for that Trev. Appreciate it, pal. Now, what the hell is that? I thought that was a porno there for a second. <laughs> just, that just popped up, I was like, what the hell is a porno? That's no, not. But uh, the other one he gave me is Cell Damage Overdrive. And I don't think this was released in the States on the PS2. I'm pretty sure you guys had it on the original Xbox, but it wasn't a PS2 release there in the US. And it's uh, it's like a kart racing game with like cartoons and stuff like that. So if you ever played um, Drawn to Death, kind of has that kind kind of art style uh, drawings and stuff like that. It's actually a really fun little kart racer. Um, check it out; it's good. Now another war game which is actually pretty good was. Uh, Full Spectrum Warrior. This is the Ten Hammers version. I haven't played these games in years, but I remember they were really good. They were both Pandemic and THQ. Um, I always love myself a bit of Worms. Trev gave me Worms. And it's not in the fucking case. Look at you, Trev, you useless bollocks. I already have it on the, the GameCube anyway, so. And another game I have spare again is. Crisis Zone! It's like a Time Crisis spin-off. It uh, came after Time Crisis 3. Uh, I lost interest in Time Crisis games after 2. <laughs> and the last 4 games! Jesus, this video has gone on for longer than the first one, so I'm going to try and go through these quickly. Uh, one of my favourite platformers on the PlayStation 1. So much nostalgia with this. It's Croc Legend of the Gobos. It's the Platinum version franchise game for this to me, actually. He picked up a bunch of games, and uh, he's like, you like Croc, don't you? I was like, yes, I do. I don't have the first one. I have the second one. And he's like, oh, you can have it, man. So I went down, and he had another game there for me, too, which was Crisis Beat. I think it's like a side-scrolling kind of beat-em-up uh, in the vein of Streets of Rage or something like that. I haven't played it yet, but this is the white label version of it. I remember a version of Resident Evil 1 like that, like a white label. Um, Capcom. And it was released by Virgin Interactive here as well. So, let's get to try that out. And Kayleigh picked up two games there for me as well, which is Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo. A really, really good game, really fucking hard. It's harder than the Sega version, and it's really good. I like it. It's a great game. And obviously, it's a no brainer. It's Street Fighter 2, the original Street Fighter 2. I actually hadn't got this in my collection. Um, I'm so happy to actually have it now, so I've been putting a lot of time into it. I need new SNES controllers because my D-pads are all fucking weird and stuff. I've been, from over the years, they just kind of wear down a bit. 
Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by, and uh, this is a really fucking long video. Let me know if you got any new games below, or if you want to talk about anything, just, just basically leave a comment below. And as always, guys, thank you for uh, giving me your time, and as always, love you. Keep the power.